I'm a former visa officer, and if you're applying for your visa, so what you have to do is prepare your facts and also prepare how you're going to present these facts in the interview. Of course, you need to get all the facts ready. You need to get all your information ready, all the facts, all the data, all your documents, but it's not just about the facts that you're preparing for your interview. There's another side to it. It's how you present those facts, those two sides, because you may have all of your facts ready, but then you get to the visa interview and the visa officer doesn't ask you any of the questions that you were expecting. Maybe you were expecting the visa officer to ask you about your finances because you had all of your family's finances, you had the bank accounts, you had real estate documents, you had loan documents, you had everything ready to tell the visa officer exactly how you were going to pay for your school, but the visa officer never asked. Or maybe you wanted to talk about your academics, maybe you had won awards and you got scholarships and you graduated top of your class, but the visa officer never asked this. So what you have to do is prepare your facts and also prepare how you're going to present these facts in the interview. That's just as important as the facts that you have, as the documents that you have. Because those facts, however good they may be, if you don't get the chance, if you don't take the chance, if you don't create the opportunity to give those facts to the visa officer, the visa officer is going to make a decision without having those facts in their mind. So you have to be prepared when you go into your visa interview to present your highlights, to present your qualifications to the visa officer, regardless of what questions they ask you, all right? You need to be in almost a sales mentality. When you go into the visa interview, you need to, need to know, okay, these are the facts, these are the highlights, these are the, these are the strong points of my application that I need the visa officer to know. If I can convince the visa officer of these facts in my application, they will have no other thought in their mind other than issuing my visa. You need to go in ready to present those facts. Don't just go in passively knowing those facts, passively having those documents. That's the way so many good visa applicants have walked out of an embassy with a refusal letter. It's because they didn't go in ready to present those facts proactively. That's really what I want you to think about is proactively presenting your qualifications and the facts that will support a visa issuance on your behalf when you go into the visa interview. Don't just go in passively. Passively, many applicants go in and they're, it's equivalent to gambling or rolling the dice and just hoping that that visa officer thinks positively about your case. What you can do to take that visa interview into your own hands, to take action, to influence the outcome of that visa interview is go in and be ready to present your case positively to the visa officer. That is what's going to help you get your visa issued.